there somewhere. Roughly. I've then got this going on. There's uh, the hill thing over here. And I want this to come up about there. And now, now I start to draw. I've got this thing coming here. It's there. Again, I might not be so accurate, but nobody's ever going to look at my painting and so we've got that shape bit wrong, haven't you? Really? I think that's the right. And then we got this. I'm doing this really fast. Because I'm, I'm, I'm doing it fast because I just want to prove that certain things don't matter. What I'm always doing when I'm drawing, I'm keeping the verticals absolutely upright, 90 degrees. Maybe foreshorten it a little bit, could come out a little bit more. It doesn't matter, it doesn't really matter. And when you're painting on plein air, you don't really have that much time to fiddle about. Beach, there will be, there you go, that's it. It's got me verticals, horizontals. Yeah. Now, what do I what do I do? How am I gonna this is the bit where you decide, not me, you decide. Do you is the easiest thing to do of all is to just do a cerulean blue if you want to. To me, you could do that. Isn't that just a little bit too easy? <laughs> Isn't it? Or is that going to be interesting? I suppose you've got the cerulean coming down, you've got the browns, you know, you've got that nice blue streak, you want to hold that. You've got some lovely lights going on, you've got some darks, you've got that bit of sunlit, and then you've got this dark, dark, dark. So you've got the steps behind. I, I haven't come wide enough there with these steps, I might have to make more space over there. Again, I'll do it with a brush. I lament with a brush. It doesn't matter. I can always rub the pencil lines off afterwards. Yeah. Let me just just take a little bit off now. I'm gonna come off with that. Yeah, I'm just going to come over. I just want more. But I know what I'm doing in my own head anyway. So, Right. I want to... I'm going to experiment. So this might work and it might not. I, I did do this on Monday and I did it in a very traditional way. I'm going to try and do it in a slightly different way now. I actually want to... I want to get some of this in the negative. That's what I want to get. And so I'm going to start doing the sky. And I'm going to get it quite dark. So I'm going to just mix up a little bit of, I want a bit of drama. That's what I want. 
I'm, of course, I'm going to get my um, my raw sienna, but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to get some um, bit of verdita, which is like a, a sort of Serenian equivalent. Some of that. And I'm just going to get, this is called, this is your pre-mixing, isn't it? This is your, this is the bit where you get yourself ready. Get in, don't, don't do it on the hoof because you won't be able to do wet and wet because by the time you mix all that up, what you've done here is just dried. So you, you need stuff ready. Um, Sky over here. I want a real bit of dark. Oh, want a real bit of dark going on. And then so Frank, is that indigo? That's indigo. That's yeah. cerulean, and that's raw sienna. Okay. Uh, I'm ready to go now. I'm going to add other colours as well, but I just want to try something. I'm going to use a different brush because I just want. I'm going to use my uh, Casaneo. My pretend sable it's not a real sable it's a da vinci but I love, i'm loving this brush it's great for just getting a little bit of precision so what i'm doing i'm all oh, blimey that's um, a bit more water again stop worrying too much about just what i get Little touches here. Get some water. A little bit of oh, it. And some of the blue. And over here, I'm keeping that lighter now. Some of that, some of that. What I'm lifting off there, that it's pushing up here. So what I've got is I've got I've got that in the negative against the dark, but then I've kept that light because I'm going to have that dark. So I've got light background and dark, and here I've got light and dark background. It's like flipping them over. Remember the Rembrandt thing we did where it was dark light, dark light? You know, it's a typical Rembrandt trick. We did this a good few months ago, the Rembrandt trick of value. And I'm doing it again. Just lifting a little. That's it. I'll get some clear water. Getting rid of some of the hard lines. And be careful because you get a little bit of little clarity doing that. Just going to put a little. That's what I think anyway. I don't know. Again, do, do it your way. Don't, you know, you're, you're painting this. You do it the way you you want to do it. I, I just wanted to get something interesting going over there. I'm just going to, just go, just killing this a little bit. You don't want watercolors too neat anyway. 
Well, I'm going to now get into my... Um, A bit of light over in that section just there. Just a little bit of orange. <laughs> Nice. There's all some green in there, isn't there? Some bit of the old bit. You notice I'm always like leaving a little bit of light going on in there. Let's get some orange. It's a neat orange. Too strong that. Take it out. It's a bit well, you can always take out a little bit if you let's get a bit of um burnt sienna and a bit of orange and burnt sienna because there's a bit of a um, beach. I remember I'm sort of starting light and I'm getting dark as I go along. Remember I've got darks to come yet. I'll save the dark bit to the end now. Let's get some of that. Get some of the water in. So come forward. over the edge 
edge of that. It's dry up, you can do that. It's nice. See the one building the painting? It's nice, it's some dark to come. I'm just leaving that edge white, just pure white. I don't know why. I don't, it just feels like I should be doing that. Right, that's that's it. I've done a pencil drawing. I've done an interesting sort of sky. Unfortunately, I've got a little bit of a line there, which couldn't help. There's something else. Could be a bird, something I don't know. But I've kept the water a lot cleaner. I haven't done any shadows or anything yet. I will think about doing that so put a stronger blue accent through so, okay i'm going to put that to one side we've we've half done that i hope you've sort of painted along with me a little bit um give it a go yeah Yes. But don't worry too much. It will all come together when we come back later on when it's bone dry and we put our shadows on and then all the punch will arrive. All the punch, all these. This this needs to be really dark here. And this is almost in the negative. And then you've got some line. There's some really dark block, 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 block. Block here and then block. And then here, this brown will just bring some things down, 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 down. But not, not yet. This is the mistake a lot of watercolorists make. They, it's not like you're doing an oil painting where you can put things down whenever you want. With watercolor, you, you, there's a time and a place. So unfortunately, you have to wait. So when you're mixing the blue, the French ultramarine, the alizarin, Always make sure it's more blue than it is red. If it's red, it'll look horrible. It needs to be blue, but just slightly towards the purpley, especially in Scotland with all that heather. See how it's sort of transformed. See, this is the bit you have to learn to enjoy because it is the best bit. I think it is anyway. I
So this is the lovely, lovely bit at the end. So you have to go through all that rigmarole earlier on, but... Painting in the negative slightly, yeah. Get a bit lighter now. I'm just looking at these, these little bits of Locking going, is it? Banging. Banging? No. Not that it's a problem. Right. And do I want the brown? No, not really. I quite like the orange. So we put a bit of orange in there, just a bit of the strength. Lovely.
diffuse that a little bit, just get that bit of wet in wet. Keeping that light. There you go, that's done. I wonder whether you like that. Anybody like it? No? <laughs> Rubbish. Everybody's going, rubbish. <laughs> get him off. Lovely. Lovely. Get him, get him off. Yeah, I, you know, it just shows there are different ways of painting it. There's different, not quite sure where that orange bit is over there. Let's diffuse. Diffuse. Always diffuse. If you're not sure, just lift out, let things run down. Well, when I do it, it makes these awful watermarks. No. Lift out a little bit if you want. I just like those little orange blobs on there. Don't ask me why. I don't know. They, they really um, change the feel of it, actually, Frank. Yeah, it just sings a little bit. Yeah. I, do you know what, yeah. Peter? I wish I'd gone even darker with the sky. Hmm. You know, I think it could have been sort of mean and moody. Yeah, I might just get that darker and then get that dark. So the light is over here, and then you get darker, sort of coming over here, and you get just a little bit more. I don't know what's the word, sort of contrast, bit of atmosphere going. Right, I'm mindful of the time. That's that's done to more or less. It's going to be hard putting the dark. I might spoil it a bit, but I do like to have, I like this dark against the light sky. I just want light against the darker sky. I might come back to that. I might carry, I might do it after I've done the next one. If anybody wants to hang on, you don't have to hang on, you know that. Now, I've got to make sure that it, this doesn't look like the castle is on fire. <laughs> Which it could do. I want to make sure that that's not happening. That's much stronger. That is much stronger now. I, I put a little bit of... Mm. Yeah, that's... That's suddenly got a little bit more action to it. Nice and light over here, nice and light there, nice crisp reflection, nice and light. And then as we come over, ooh, ooh, ooh. It certainly makes the castle look more dramatic. Yes. Yeah. Slightly darker over here, isn't it? Ah. Oh. That's right, it's all getting a bit dark over here. I like it. A little bit of light. Mm. 
tiny bit sliver. I like the way that's still left in white, that little bit there. I don't mind that. I really, really don't mind that at all. I'm glad I did it. And I'm really glad you were here live to watch me do it. <laughs>